Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will be discussing the syllabus and test pattern for Cognizant off-campus drive which is for 2024 batch. So all the 2024 pass outs, you are eligible for this Cognizant off-campus drive where they will be hiring for various profiles. Let's go ahead, discuss a bit about the syllabus and test pattern. And before I dive in deep, go ahead, follow us on all the social media handles so that you do not miss any hiring update. Alongside that, go ahead and comment below this video, whatever you feel, fine. And top three comments can stand a chance to win the Prep Insta Prime subscription for free for three months. So go ahead, avail that chance, fine. So straight away, whenever I explain any syllabus, any test pattern, there is one common thing. I always give you the skeleton of exam first and that is that is constant every time fine main har bar skeleton batata hi batata hu exam ka and the reason is before attempting any exam you need to understand what kind of exam is it fine so here you will have three rounds fine you will have three rounds primarily and truly speaking here i have just written two rounds Fine. So apart from these rounds, there is one interview, which is the round three. Fine. So in the round one, you'll have communication test where reading, grammar and comprehension, speaking and listening skills would be tested. Usually it is an AI based test where you either have a textual question written and you record your voice for the speaking, listening and you get some listening assessments and you solve them. Fine. A simple test. Now begins the real game here in the round two in the aptitude test. So here you have to prepare the quants, which is quantitative aptitude. Alongside that, you have to prepare analytical and logical reasoning. In the technical assessment, you have to prepare coding medium, one question. Fine, one question would be of coding hard generally and one you have of query debugging. So generally there are three questions in this technical assessment. Why I haven't written any number of questions here? The reason is very specific. Cognizant always keeps on changing the questions fine the number of questions always varies fine so i have the time for it for every round i have time with me so that you can efficiently manage the time fine for example this would be of 60 minutes communication assessment the aptitude would be of 80 minutes now here what i can suggest you is practice quantitative aptitude so well that in this 80 minutes you utilize just 30 to 40 minutes fine for quantitative aptitude for quants only this much but for analytical and logical reasoning here in this case you need to have 40 to 50 minutes with you fine we'll discuss this in detail if i make any preparation plan video now, if you want a dedicated preparation plan video for Cognizant off-campus drive, you go ahead, comment below this video, flood the comments, flood it so much that we are pressurized to make that video, fine. Otherwise, there's no intrinsic motivation as such until I feel that there's a need for it because we have given enough content. But if you people nudge us in the comments, if you people put a flood of comments for the complete preparation plan of cognizant i'll come up with that plan fine now here speaking about this you have to prepare this section better fine in the if any preparation plan video comes i'm again and again reiterating that because if it comes then only i'll tell you how to tackle this fine apart from this for technical assessment you have 120 minutes and you can equivalently partition it in the three questions what exactly is the syllabus? Now let's dive in deep. So for that, before I tell you the syllabus, have a basic idea of what profiles they are going to give you. So one is Gen C, one is Gen C Pro and one is Gen C Next. In the Gen C, they are giving you the old technology or redundant roles or the roles which are outdated. Being very honest, fine. That is why you are being paid less, number one. Also, the designation you get here would be Program Analyst Trainee. Here you're getting the designation of program analyst, programmer analyst and here Gen C next is also programmer analyst only, fine. In Gen C Pro, you're having a slightly better package, 5.4 LPA. Here you will be basically doing some tool based jobs like Salesforce, SAP and you'll be doing some back end development, some ops divisions, you'll be handling some DevOps, web development, fine, things like that. 
in Gen C Next, you'll be having 6.75 LPA. This is the flagship package of this off-campus drive. This is the maximum package they are offering in this drive. But here in Gen C Next, you'll be exposed to best of the technologies, best of the projects, the projects that matter more to Cognizant. Fine. Those would be exposed here. Fine. So people who are targeting for this exam, always remember, target should be this. Fine. Do not keep them as a target. Keep this as a target. Shoot for the moon. I always say this. Shoot for the moon. You land among stars. Fine. Let's go ahead. Let's understand the basic pattern. How they are going to churn out people. How they are going to filter out people. So after round one and round two. And let me tell you. That's why I kept this as round two as well. Because these are both the stages of round two only. On one day you will have an aptitude test. On one day you will have the technical assessment. Fine. After this, when you clear these round one and round two, if you do, and if you're in top 1%, you're getting Gen C next interview. If you're in top 5 to 7%, Gen C pro. And if you're in top 20%, Gen C interview. So 80% people are being waved off at the first written test stage only. Fine. 80% people are not being forwarded to this interview process fine so you have to be in top 20 percent and for that you need to practice a lot you need to prepare structurally and that is why you should have a proper plan fine however let's get back here so if you if you perform well in this gen c next interview great good to go you'll get selected for gen c next if you do not perform very well gen c pro or gen c any role can be offered to you if Gen C Pro interview is what you've been called for, then Gen C Pro and Gen C role are open for you. If you behave well, if you give it well, if you perform well, Gen C Pro is something you're going to get. If you do not perform well, Gen C role will be the role that you'll be getting. However, if you're shortlisted for Gen C interview and here also you do not perform, then you will be straight away rejected. Fine. If you perform well, Gen C role is what you get. Fine. So coming to the syllabus portion, in quants, generally, Generally, the division is such that you have 15 to 20 questions. This is approximation. Everything that I'm telling you is approximate here. But the topics, these topics that I'm telling you are very, very specific, very, very important, not to be missed at all. Fine. Because once you miss a topic, I've told this n number of times, once you miss a single topic, you're raising your cutoff. For example, if you're somebody 25 questions, just imagine, this is an imaginary number that I'm giving you, 25 questions of quant come, fine. For this, if the cutoff is right now, say, 20, fine. So all you have here is 80%, which is the cutoff. Now, if you leave this particular portion, simple interest and compound interest, then what will happen? Say two to three questions are coming, I'll say two questions are coming from it, fine. Now, in this case, what you have actually at your condition, or I say you you left these two topics, fine, and conclusively five questions came from these topics. Now, those five questions you cannot attempt. Now, to qualify this 20 questions cut off, you have to attempt correctly 20 questions out of 20 questions because five questions I'm saying are coming for here. Think, itne mein se panch question aare. Let, let's assume this, fine. If I assume this because one, two, three questions from here, two, two, three from here. So I'm just averaging them out and thinking if five questions come in that case, you cannot attempt those five. If you have left these topics, fine. Then the cutoff that you're facing is actually hundred percent. You will have to get all the questions, rest all the questions, right to perform well in quants. So do not minimize your chances by leaving any topics. Fine. Don't do that. All you should do is you should maximize your chances. Now, how do you do that? I'll show you. You simply go to prep Insta. Fine. And here you search cognizant. Simple. Simple searches. Cognizant. And then you search spacebar prep Insta. Fine. So cognizant prep Insta is there. You simply search it. 2025 placement papers. You have previous year papers here. You go there and you check it out. And then you'll have proper preparation section here. You can go ahead 
and you can practice quants, you can practice logical reasoning, you can practice verbal ability, anything. Fine. Alongside this, you can go to prime. Fine. And this is a better option because here things would be much more easier for you. You scroll a bit, you will see these courses, and here it is a cognizant Gen C course. You simply click on it. This course is comprehensive. Fine. So this will cover maximum portion for you and this can also help you this course can also help you covering things very speedily very fastly a lot of time of yours would be saved in this course fine now how do you enroll into this you click on get prime you go ahead for example if i'm selecting a 48 month subscription and if you are somebody who's not very good financially you use this code of mine shukla10 shukla10 fine and you apply it out and you'll get a significant discount on that and you can pay that out as simple as that okay you pay kar sakte ho, you'll get a good value you'll get a good proper structured course now if you're somebody who can not afford even this much what you should do is you go ahead and you start preparing from this website you start solving the free quizzes that are available here when you click on for example ncm and hcf if you click on that you'll have a free course here see Fine, free quiz, you go ahead, attempt it out. This will help you out and attempt all the free quizzes given. Fine. Now, coming back and apart from this, analytical and logical reasoning, this is also super important. And for this, coding deductive logic is very, very important portion. You must not miss out on this blood relations and syllogism inferred meanings, statements and conclusions, analogy classifications, directional senses. These are some very important topics. You should focus upon them. And if you want this PPT, go ahead, comment this out that you want this PPT and you'll be sent a link to a community or a group where you should join. In that group, you will find the PPT. Fine. So this will help you out with the syllabus. Now, moving ahead and Coding questions, coming to coding questions, I'll also come on query debugging. I'll come on that, don't worry. So if I discuss about coding questions, the basic topics for the medium question like looping, number series, strings, mathematical logics, matrices, pattern printing, arrays, recursion, fine, things like that. Basic, basic. But you need to practice them a lot, fine. Now, for this, either you practice from top 100 codes or the cognizant course that I told you in the basic coding and intermediate coding on prepinstaprime.com. Now this top 100 codes is something you can go ahead and I'll show you. You can check it out here. Fine. Top 100 codes. You simply click on top 100 codes and the first page you find is of prepinsta. You click on it and you'll have the top 100 codes for free. But there is a catch. Now, when you go to solve the hard questions, then this top 100 codes might not 100% help you. This is definitely very, very important for foundation. But when you will solve these questions, question which will fall in hard category, then you have to solve this competitive coding. Fine. You have to be good at data structures and algorithms. You have to perform well. And these courses are available on Prep Insta Prime for free not for free pardon they are available on prep insta prime with the subscription fine but for free what you have let me give you a free resource as well on prepinsta.com you have previous year papers fine in the section where cognizant is there i showed you that you can go ahead and check that out alongside that let me help you with one more thing ab in dono cheezon ke liye you will prepare two different resources fine but for you i have made a list of 150 questions which is top 150 not out list fine all you need to do is complete this list these 150 questions can land you up in google amazon adobe any product based company any service based company beat any hard tough easy medium any question fine if you have solved this particular list if you know this list on your fingernails you can crack any test on planet earth I have made a lot of thoughts about this list. These patterns are repeated. You need not solve 400, 500 problems. Do these 150 problems. Microsoft, Google, Netflix, where you want placement, you will get it there. Okay? All you need to do is, you complete other things like resume, skills, projects. Do it well. 
DSA the round if you're good in these 150 questions you'll never miss the DSA round fine this is the utmost ultimate godfather like list which can help you out I'll show you this list see I'll show you this list you simply go here you type out top 150 not out prep insta fine that's it and you'll have this particular list here and in this list if you see in this list there are multiple multiple questions and for example here if you see three some problem there is a problem which is very famous fine and in this problem if you see you will have three hints three methods to solve so every question here which is given will have at least two methods to solve many hints many examples or ek bar you develop a very good proficiency on these questions any question on earth any coding round on earth is a cakewalk for you i'm not kidding so this is one place one stop solution for all your coding issues alongside that now when you've done this there is one thing called as query debugging fine which we discussed i'll show you this particular query debugging now what is this in this query debugging you generally have a question in which there is some error fine and you have to fix that error out so what you can do is you go to prime fine prep insta prime and on prep insta prime you will find for this you will find automata fix scores fine so that is automata fix you can also find its examples on the prepare section that i showed you on cognizant prepinsta.com page fine so the prepinsta.com has a page of cognizant there also some questions are available but how to solve them how to approach them are available in a course which is on prime automata fix you can simply go to prepinstaprime.com enroll in any of course and you will get the complete access to 200 courses fine so this is one thing fine this is the basic syllabus this is how things would come at you alongside this if you want that i should prepare a complete preparation plan for cognizant i told you comment that out tell me in the comments and if 50 plus comments come for this if you comment it out that i should make a proper placement preparation plan for cognizant and you put 50 comments of that i'll straight away go and i'll simply prepare that video for you that is my promise to you if you deliver that much on my comment section fine alongside that subscribe to this channel that will help you out so that you do not miss any update any video any free resource that i am bringing out for you with such hard work so that your preparation is way ahead than others alongside this follow us on all the social media handles i told you that and remember one thing whoever needs this knowledge go ahead spread it keep doing good without any expectation keep doing good good will come back to you so have a wonderful day ahead thank you bye bye